Ladies and gentlemen, we got more Bugsy Malone. Now, I was impressed with the first round of the battle between him and Chip. So I want to react to a song of his, a full actual Bugsy song. Malone. I'm going to do that for Chip, too. Now, because I've reacted to Chip's, um, I think it was his daily. I think I reacted to something to Chip that had nothing to do with uh, beefing at all. You feel me? But, um, so, you know, I, I, I want to give Chip that, I mean, Bugs the same. Mr. Yeah, Snowman on production. What's this? Watch this. I got a brand new three bedroom crib with spotlights in the ceiling. It's sick. Got a beanbag in the computer room. All I need now is Grand Theft Auto 6. Got an office and everything cocaine white. My man just bragged about having a beanbag chair. <laughs> That's some real talk right there. That's how you know he's from the trenches for real. <laughs> he said, I got a beanbag chair in my studio, man. Yeah, big baller. Got lights in the ceiling, it's sick. Got a beanbag in the computer room. All I need now is Grand Theft Auto 06. Got okay. an office and everything cocaine white. In the morning, it can get too bright, but it doesn't affect me these days because I've been staying up way too deep in the night thinking about before it all went bad. Before the day I met my real dad. Before I knew about money and bills and how they both made my mum get sad. It's like counting about. Oh, damn. Oh, he gonna get real on this one. The talk gonna be heavy on this one. He brought up meeting, meeting his real dad. The talk gonna be heavy on this one. Oh man, go ahead, bug. My money and bills, and now they both made my mum get sad. It's like counting about 25 bags. I'm running out of elastic bands. Cause it turns out, when you make money on the road, there's nothing you can do with the cash. So I jump in the S line, driving fast. Hoping I'm It turns out when you make money on the road, you can't even spend the cash. That's the hardest bar Bugsy Malone has ever spit. And I'm only saying that only hearing about four songs of his. So far that I've heard. Oh, that's just too real. I like it when they give the both sides of the talk, bro. Don't just tell people I'm going out here. I'm slinging this. I'm whipping this. I'm stealing this. I'm boosting this. Also tell them about how when you make money doing road man things, yard man things, you know I mean, you things, you can't spend that money legally. It's hard to spend that money, baby boy. You got to wash them. Go ahead. Do you with the cash, so I jump in the S line. Oh, I got you, got me now. Pumping, bump into my stepdad. Cody say mental abuse is worse than physical abuse. I don't want to get him back. But I don't want to do another custodial sentence in a 4 by 4 pad. And I got to take this time to apologize to my best friend, Cody almost Crashed. Let me try and... By the way, let me know. I've been working with the mic volume, turning my mic volume up and seeing if uh, it's better. Just let me know if you guys, if if I should keep turning up or turn it down, whatever. We're going to get the right sound. And make sure you go to fromthevillage.uk, uh, UK, dot US, fromthevillage.us and grab you one of these or a shirt or a hoodie or just scroll down below and grab it because, you know, a lot of these videos be getting claimed and. I ain't never reacted to so much claim stuff since this UK stuff. So shout out to everybody who supports. Time me. to apologize to my best friend, Kobe Yo almost crashed. Oh, he's going to explain this intricate because I never been playing. It's intimate because I never contacted a counselor to get rid of this pain. I walk with it and now I'm going insane. Losing control of my own brain. Watching documentaries on serial killers and feeling that I can relate. Did you find that strange? Yeah? Okay. Well let me get this straight. If I do a life sentence or I don't make it, it's cause I could not handle the pain. I don't Oh my God. See, that's why it's important to react to these people's actual music on top of the diss tracks back and forth. I didn't know Bugsy Malone was this kind of artist. I, I guess I didn't know what kind of artist he was at all. Just when his back's against the wall, bloop, bloop, and I think he destroyed Chip the first round. Dish, the first three back-to-backs destroyed Chip. Bad. Everybody telling me it gets Chip drops a million diss tracks after that, so I got to react to that. So whatever, whatever. But the content... And what he was saying in those three, I'm a quality over quantity person. So I haven't heard those other ones. Hopefully the quality. But um, man, he's he gets deep, bro. He's a real mental... Yeah, he's like, talk let me get it off my chest Turns out no matter how many tracks I make I still can't handle the stress But I don't watch all the indirects True say man might see me as a threat I don't mind going out as a legend As long as I'm known as Manchester's best So I swear to God This is changing my whole outlook on Bugsy 
this dude is a true introspective. Like, the lyrics aren't super complicated, right? But the themes are. You understand me? He's talking about relating to serial killers. He's talking about, had I, you, you, you guys talk about wasted talent if I mess up and go slip into my old life. But the only reason y'all buying my mixtapes and buying my music is because I'm telling stories of my old life. Boy, this man is cerebral. Oh my God. These are some themes that like, these are some things that I really think the culture needs to answer. Like, these is good quite Like, God dang. Picture the scene. I'm sitting on my corner, so for in peace until I got a call. Have you seen yourself in the papers? You wanted by the police. And I was like, what? And it was hot. But do you want to know what was a lot? The night before was the night that I went on Twitter. I had a direct message from Sloth. Just my luck. Let me do a Vincent Van Gogh Cause you know I paint pictures with words And I still not published one book I was in Panacea trying to get to the bar Vincent Van Gogh? I ain't never heard someone pronounce Vincent Van Gogh like Vincent Van Gogh <laughs> We all take artistic liberties We rappers We gotta make things rhyme But Damn, bruh. I almost can just sit and listen. My man didn't want to let me pass. Push me into a family of brothers. Before you knew it, I'd already been crap. But let me remind these fools. Into the devil I turn. They step back, I step forward. Play with fire and you're going to get burned. But I must apologize in advance. Because I didn't want it to end so bad. See what happened from there was loose. I was in the Manchester Evening News. It said he got violently attacked. Outside in a taxi, he was whacked and could have died. But that's how you know what the papers tried. It was self-defense. That's a blatant lie. I'm stereotyped. And do you want to know why? I'm a different guy. When I was about eight, my mom moved to an area that was heavily white. I was in school looking like Wesley Snipes, Ben Sherman's in a second hand bike, feeling like a donut because I'd already. Nigga, I have an armful of goosebumps right now. I don't know if you can see. I know you can see the d definition. Don't care about the shoulder definition. Just see. Can you see the bumps? Oh my God, bro. Nah, he talking. Oh my God. I didn't know he was like that. I didn't know he was this kind of nick. Boy, this, my respect for him just went threefold, bro. Bike, feeling like a donut, cause I'd already been stabbed by the time I was year nine. Mom didn't want me to see my side. Told me that too many people died. Between like 91 and 99, there was a gang war and violent crime. My uncle's face got tore out by the pellets of a shotgun like Frankenstein. I was sat with him in an M3 that could do not to 60 in 4.5. One. He said the shotgun pellets tore his face up like Frankenstein. Bro, I swear to God, but I did, like, I got to react to more Bugsy, man. 2,500 thumbs up for more, but oh my God. This nigga is, this is literally too real, bro. It's like, sometimes people think they lyricists because they use words with, uh, big words with a lot of syllables in it, and it, it, you're not, you're just... Here's my thing, bro. If you can't get your message across, no matter how you're saying it, you're whack to me. I don't care if you're lyrical, spiritual. I don't care if you say three words a line. It ends up, a lot of the time, the nigga who says three words a line gets his actual point across easier than the nigga who says a million. You feel me? Like, And it hits your heart. Your heart is able to absorb it more because it's more just closer to the... I swear, the more words you take out, the closer to the feeling you are to it. I swear. It's weird, but... One hand holding the steering wheel Moving quicker than a Batmobile Driving around cheating mill when I was about nine Back when the hood was real A villain taking secure local boxes And I don't care if it's hot They don't mean Russell Crowe when they mention The gladiator in the gang war book The first guy that I ever looked up to He was like Batman without a suit and Now it's my turn to try and put money on the map I just hope I can do it like you Hope I can get one million views Hope that I never get caught with food Hope that Charlie can breathe all right in the smoke Cause I set fire to the booth I realized the grind was English hit Hip-hop, forget about all the tunes Forget the playlist, I wanna go down in history Like Tootin' Carmoon Bobs him along Need that play I dedicate this one to Dane My little cousin Oh my god, god. didn't make it Rest in peace, bro I'll see you soon, my brother You know how you know somebody is a hell of a rapper A hell of an artist My nigga, in four minutes I've learned so much about Son. I swear to you, I feel closer to Bugsy Malone. Like, I want him to win more. There was like an autobiography I just watched. That was, oh my God.